Do flaxseeds lower testosterone levels? There seems to be a lot of misinformation out there about flaxseeds and testosterone levels, but it seems to really depend on if you are a male or female and what kind of situation you're in. For males, we'll look at studies that seem to indicate that testosterone levels are not affected, and if anything, they're actually increased by flaxseeds. And if you're a female with too high of testosterone levels, we'll see how flaxseeds may benefit you by lowering testosterone levels to more normal levels. First, we'll look at men and deal with a common myth that flaxseeds may lower testosterone in men. So the main study that's been used to show that flaxseeds may lower testosterone was a study in which prostate cancer patients were given flaxseed and a low-fat diet, and they saw a statistically significant decrease in testosterone levels. However, there are many flaws with this. First of all, there was no control group in the study to compare taking flaxseed versus not taking flaxseed. And the second thing is they put them on a low-fat diet, and low-fat diets are already proven to lower testosterone. So at this point, you can't even say whether the flaxseed had any effect or not. A second big problem with this study is these were men with prostate cancer. The prostate cancer is inflammation and could easily have been affecting hormone levels in their body since their bodies are not in a healthy state. Generally, stress of any kind is probably going to lower testosterone levels, especially cancer. And we'll actually see that happen in the next study. So they did a much better study. And again, it was on prostate cancer patients. However, they had a control group this time. The control group didn't change their diet. They had a flaxseed group. They had a low-fat flaxseed group and a low-fat diet group. And these were all patients who were about to undergo prostate cancer treatment. And lo and behold, what they found in the study was the control group had a significant decrease in testosterone levels. This is the group that wasn't taking any flaxseed and didn't change their diet. And they concluded that it was probably the stress of the surgery and I think probably the prostate cancer that was having an effect on their testosterone levels. And furthermore, the groups that had the highest testosterone levels at the end of the study and saw the smallest change in testosterone percentage-wise was the flaxseed group. Those eating flaxseed actually had higher testosterone levels at the end of the surgery. Another thing that's commonly thrown out there about flaxseeds affecting testosterone levels is that they have lignans and phytoestrogens and that these things can quote-unquote mess up your hormone levels and lower your testosterone. However, this has commonly been said about soy for years and years. However, the studies and evidence show that soy does not affect testosterone levels at all. In fact, phytoestrogens can help your hormone levels because if you have low hormone levels like estrogen that need to be higher, they can actually come in and raise those levels up to where they need to be. Just remember, estrogen is not a bad thing. It gets classified as being bad, but it's part of our body and we need it to function and it needs to be at a normal level. So in some cases, these plant-based foods can actually help your hormone levels. In fact, I just released a video a little while ago about vegans who are found to actually have higher testosterone levels than omnivores and meat eaters. So I'll leave a link where you can watch that and check that out. And this is despite the fact that they were eating a lower fat diet. Lower fat diets tend to be associated with lower testosterone levels. So had the vegans had even higher fat levels, they could have easily had even higher testosterone levels. And that is what flax seeds actually provide. Flax seeds are a source of good healthy fats and omega-3s. That is essential for good testosterone production. So based on all of these studies and evidence and the fact that they are good fats, I think that flax seeds not only don't affect your testosterone, but they should actually increase it. That is, if you're a male. 
Now let's look at what about if you're a female. In women, flax seeds have been studied in a condition called PCOS, where testosterone levels are too high, and they've found really good results from introducing flaxseed along with a lower fat diet. And this is kind of in line with what I was saying earlier. Uh, first, the low fat diet uh, can lower testosterone levels. And furthermore, there may be some kind of effect with the uh, plant based compounds, which are helping to regulate the hormone levels to where they should be. So just consider these are females who should have lower testosterone levels. And in this case, they have too high of testosterone levels in their body. So these plant-based foods are coming in and, and kind of balancing out and regulating their hormones, which might be what flaxseed is helping to do here by decreasing testosterone in women where testosterone levels are too high to begin with. So because of that, flaxseed looks like it could be a good remedy for people with women, that is with PCOS. So more studies are probably needed to draw any conclusive evidence, but based on the studies we have, it looks like the flaxseed probably doesn't have a significant impact on testosterone if you're a male and may even actually help your testosterone levels. And if you're a female it, who has high testosterone, it looks like it may actually improve your testosterone levels. So this is good news. Flax seeds are a very healthy food, high in ALA, omega-3 fats, good fiber source, lots of antioxidants, and I definitely recommend them, and I eat them every morning, and I haven't had any negative effects. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Hopefully this was useful, and enjoy the rest of your day.